Right now, the median per square foot price of a brand new home with a Raleigh, North Carolina address is a whopping $294. This means that the typical brand new construction Raleigh home is gonna cost you just under $625,000. What if I told you that you can still get a brand new home in several of Raleigh's top nearby suburbs for less, actually much less. In this video, I price checked hundreds of new homes and neighborhoods throughout the entire Raleigh metro area to find the top five most affordable Raleigh new home communities. So grab your popcorn, sit back and relax because this show is opening right now. Hey guys, I'm Michael Sanders with the Mike Sanders team at Remax United in Raleigh, North Carolina, your native Raleigh realtor. If you're considering either buying or selling a Raleigh area home, then definitely give me a call, shoot me a text or an email. Don't make a huge mistake. Get Mike and get moved. Okay guys, if you want a brand new Raleigh home but you either can't afford it or maybe you simply don't want to spend $625,000, then like I've been preaching on my channel for quite a while now, the hard truth of the matter is that you're pretty much wasting your time if you're searching for any brand new home with a Raleigh address. Instead, your time would be much better spent searching in one of the many Raleigh suburbs where you're gonna get a whole lot more home for your home buying budget. Luckily for you guys, I just finished analyzing tons of real estate market data heading into the fall of 2023 data such as price per square foot and median home prices, which has led me to my top five list of the most affordable new home communities. As a bonus, each of these top five are either nationally ranked builders or regional builders with some pretty good reputations for quality homes. So without further ado, let's jump in beginning at our number five, Haywood Glen over in Nightdale. Okay guys, one of the things that I really like about Haywood Glen is its location. Over here, you're situated in a relatively rural area of Nightdale. It's in a pretty undeveloped area over in the northeast section of town. From Haywood Glen, you can jump on the nearby I-540 in about seven or eight minutes. You can be in downtown Raleigh in about 25 minutes or over to RDU Airport in about 30 to 35 minutes. There are six different plans available right now over in Haywood Glen. Over here, you're gonna have a mix of one-story ranch homes that are gonna measure out around 1,800 square feet all the way up to two-story plans that are gonna go all the way up to nearly 3,000 square feet. Prices over here are gonna range from the high threes up to the mid five. On a per square foot basis, these homes are gonna typically sell on average of around $184 per square foot. There's an awesome community swimming pool available for residents. There's a kid's playground nearby. There's a ton of open space for outdoor activities over here. One of the things that you're gonna to wanna to know about is this section of Nightdale has been undergoing quite a bit of change over the last couple of years. Located just five minutes down the road from Haywood Glen is the future downtown north at Nightdale Station that I first told you guys about last fall. This is gonna really kick this area of Nightdale into overdrive. In my opinion, this is gonna be a great area of Nightdale to invest in because up to this point, this area of Nightdale really hasn't seen a whole lot of new growth lately. And with these additions that are gonna be coming pretty soon, it's gonna be an even more desirable place to live. Okay guys, moving right along at number four, we've got Sydney Creek being built by DRB Homes. From Sydney Creek, you're less than 30 minutes from downtown Raleigh. You can jump on Interstate I-540 in about 15 minutes or so. If you love baseball, then you're directly next door to the Carolina Mudcat Stadium. Homes over in Sydney Creek are gonna range from three to four bedrooms, 2,000 to 3,000 square feet in size. The pricing over here is gonna range from the high threes to the mid fours, which is gonna make this community price out around $179 per square foot. Don't let the affordability of Sydney Creek fool you. This is gonna be a really nice place. It's gonna have a ton of really cool amenities. They're gonna have an amenity center over there that's gonna have a really cool swimming pool. There's gonna be a nearby play area for the kids. They're also gonna have a dedicated dog park over there. There's some scenic trails on site. So out here, you're gonna get a really affordable and convenient home with more amenities than many more expensive new home communities nearby. Moving right along, guys, at the number three most affordable new home community, we've got Anderson Farm that's being built by D.R. Horton. This community is located just off of Highway 64 in the Raleigh suburb of Wendell, North Carolina. From over here, you're only about 20 to 25 minutes from the heart of downtown Raleigh, and you're only about 10 minutes away from the nearby shops at Nightdale Station. Like Sydney Creek that I just spoke about, Anderson Farm is a really super affordable community, but they're also not gonna skimp on amenities. 
Over here, you're gonna find a fantastic community swimming pool. There's a really cool Greenway Trail that they're working on right now. These homes are really nice. You're gonna get some sleek granite countertops in the kitchen along with some really nice upgrades like backsplash. You're gonna get stainless steel appliances. Homes in Anderson Farm are gonna range in size from around 1,500 square feet to over 3,000 square feet. These are gonna typically be around three to five bedrooms. They're gonna be priced between the low and mid fours, which is gonna make this community price out on a per square foot base of around 175, 176 per square foot. Hey guys, really quick, I would really, really appreciate it if you take half a second and click the like button below. It would really help me and my channel out quite a bit. Secondly, if you'd like a copy of my brand new 54 page triangle area relocation guide, just drop a comment in the comment section below. Okay guys, coming in at number two is Weaver's Pond over in Zebulon. Weaver's Pond is probably in my opinion, could be considered the number one master plan community that's over in the Raleigh suburb of Zebulon. The community is really picturesque thanks to not one, but two community ponds. You can go fishing over there. I've spoken to several people who've actually caught real live fish, believe it or not. They've also got some really cool walking trails that wind throughout the community, some of which go around both lakes. It's really picturesque at night during dusk. In addition, there's also a junior Olympic-sized swimming pool that's directly adjacent to the community soccer field. There's also a clubhouse with a grilling area if you want to have some outdoor parties. Right now over in Weaver's Pond, there's only a handful of available homes right now. However, there's also a huge new phase that's currently under construction where hopefully they're gonna have some new home inventory that's gonna become available soon. Of the currently available homes that are over there, these are gonna range from the high threes up to the low fours for a four bed, three bath home. On a per square foot basis, these homes are gonna typically sell on average for around 171 to 172 per square foot. Okay guys, drum roll please. Coming in is the number one most affordable new home community is Edgewater over in Wendell, built by Meritage Homes. You might be familiar with this community. I actually highlighted it only about a week or two ago in a prior video. If you missed it, here's a link, you can check it out. Edgewater also is in a really convenient location. It's about halfway between the town of Wendell and the town of Zebulon. You're gonna be pretty much equally close to both of these town shopping and dining amenities. Like several of the previous communities, Edgewater is pretty convenient. You're only gonna be about 15 minutes away from the I-540 Expressway. You're only gonna be about 25 to 30 minutes from downtown Raleigh. These homes are gonna sort out just a little bit over $400,000. They're gonna range in size from four to five bedroom designs. They're gonna be around 2,300 to 3,200 square feet in size. So they're gonna be pretty big when you get up to that five bedroom model. Homes over here are typically gonna sell on a per square foot basis of around $162 per square foot. So this is a phenomenal neighborhood if you wanna get a ton of home for your money. If you're considering a move to the Raleigh area and you think that it might make a little bit of sense to talk to someone who's not only sold a ton of Raleigh area homes, but who's also a bona fide Raleigh area native, then definitely give me a call, text, email. I'd love to help you guys the same way I've helped tons of others who decided that the smart move was to get Mike and get moved.